Hello and welcome to today's video where we will be discussing efficient culling and editing of wedding photos. As you might know, one of the most essential and time-consuming parts of wedding photography is the post-shooting process which involves culling and editing photos. Wedding photography is a significant event in people's lives and as photographers it is our responsibility to capture these moments at their absolute best. Managing this process becomes even more imperative when it comes to wedding photography, as you're working with a high volume of photos, each capturing a unique emotion and moment. The culling process is a critical step in this journey, as it helps in segregating the best photos from a multitude of snaps taken during the event. It's during this stage that you decide which photos are worth editing and which ones should be discarded. In the first section of this video, we will delve deeper into this concept of culling and its insurmountable significance in the realm of wedding photography. We will not only discuss its importance, but also understand how it can completely the quality of your finished product. Remember, culling is not just about discarding photos, but about highlighting the best shots that tell a captivating and cohesive story of the couple's special day. Next, we will shift our focus to the various tools and software that are commonly used in the photography world for the purpose of culling. Tools like Adobe Lightroom and Photo Mechanic are industry favorites due to their user-friendly interface and powerful features. We will provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to utilize these tools to their maximum potential to ensure that your culling process is not only efficient, but also enjoyable. Additionally, we have lined up a series of practical tips and tricks that you can implement to quickly identify and select the best shots from a sea of photos. We will delve into how to spot unique compositions candid moments, and perfect lighting scenarios that will make your photos stand out. We will also discuss common mistakes that photographers make during the culling process and how you can avoid them to make your workflow more efficient. In this video, we're not just imparting technical knowledge, but also sharing years of experience and the nuances of making the right choices. We will guide you on how to develop a keen eye for detail and a critical mindset for selecting the best shots. So, whether you're a seasoned photographer or a newbie experimenting with wedding photography, we promise this video will be a valuable resource for you. We will also take a look at the tools and software commonly used for culling, such as Lightroom and Photo Mechanic. Additionally, we will provide you with some valuable tips on how to quickly identify and select the best shots. As we transition into section two, we're going to walk you through the fundamentals of editing techniques. This is where you will learn the principles that form the backbone of any good photo editor's skill set. We want you to grasp the pivotal terms and techniques used by professionals worldwide. We will begin by discussing exposure. This is a critical aspect of photography and plays a significant role in the post-production process. You will learn how to adjust and balance exposure to create visually stunning images. We will discuss highlights, mid-tones and shadows the critical components of exposure that determine the overall tonality of your image. The next step in our journey is to understand color correction. This is an artistic yet technical aspect of photo editing. It involves adjusting the color tones of an image to mimic real world colors or to evoke specific emotional responses from viewers. We will deep dive into how color correction can drastically improve image aesthetics while retaining image authenticity. We will also explore how you can utilize color correction to set the mood of a photograph and enhance storytelling. Then, we will delve into the world of cropping. Cropping may seem rudimentary, but it is a powerful tool in photo editing. This process allows you to remove unnecessary elements from your image, enabling you to focus on the subject more effectively. We will help you utilize cropping to improve the composition and balance within the frame, enhancing the overall visual appeal of your image. To provide a practical context to these theoretical concepts, we've decided to use popular photo editing software. We believe that hands-on experience is the best way to learn, which is why we've chosen this method. This software is widely used in the industry and has a user-friendly interface making it perfect for beginners and professionals alike. We understand that this might seem overwhelming, but we assure you that with practice and patience, you will master these techniques. These skills will not only enable you to create visually appealing images, but will also help you express your creative vision more effectively. So, let's dive in and begin our journey into the fascinating world of photo editing. In section 3, we will delve into more advanced editing tips. Here, 
you will be introduced to the world of highly skilled editing methods that are sure to make your work stand out. We will spend time demystifying the more complex aspects of the process, such as the correct use of filters, layers, and color grading. One of the key techniques we'll discuss is skin retouching. This is an important skill to master, especially for those who are interested in portrait photography or photojournalism. Skin retouching can make a significant difference in the presentation and final result of your photos, enhancing your subject's features and concealing any imperfections. We will comprehensively cover the tools you need, the appropriate settings, and simple tricks of the trade to give your photos a professional finish. Moreover, we will also tackle the often overlooked aspect of editing, background enhancement. This can involve anything from changing the scenic backdrop to adjusting the lighting and color balance in the image's environment. An effectively edited background can greatly change the mood and narrative of your photograph. Therefore, understanding how to manipulate it is integral to creating a powerful visual story. Throughout this section, we aim to provide clear, detailed instructions. We will guide you through each step of these techniques, from the initial selection of the right tools to the final touch-ups. Along the way, we will share practical tips to avoid common mistakes and enhance your workflow. Furthermore, we will also be showcasing examples of professionally edited photos, demonstrating how these techniques are applied in the industry. These examples would help you visualize the concepts we discuss and understand the potential impact of these techniques on your own work. Additionally, we will encourage interactive participation. You are invited to experiment with the techniques as we go along. Try your hands at them, make mistakes, learn and refine your skills. This hands-on approach not only solidifies your understanding, but also boosts your confidence in handling complex editing tasks. In this way, Section 3 is not just about learning advanced editing techniques. It is about developing a deeper understanding of the art and science of digital photo editing and refining your skills to a professional level, providing you with step-by-step -step processes and showcasing examples along the way. Section 4 will focus on workflow optimization. There's a vast realm of productivity waiting to be unlocked, and we're here to help you conquer it. We will delve into the myriad ways to optimize your workflow transforming it from a time-consuming grind into a finely tuned machine that slips through tasks with ease. First, we'll discuss batch processing, an essential tool in any editor's arsenal. It allows you to apply the same edits to multiple files or tasks simultaneously, turning hours of work into mere minutes. We will show examples, explain the process, and provide a step-by-step -step guide to using this powerful function to its fullest potential. Then we'll move on to presets, another massive time saver. Instead of manually adjusting your settings for each new task, presets allow you to save and apply your preferred configurations with just a single click. Detailed tutorials will break down the process of creating and using presets effectively, giving you an even greater edge in your work. We will also talk about shortcuts. To the uninitiated, they might seem like nothing more than gimmicks or tricks, but in the hands of a skilled editor, Shortcuts can shave off precious seconds from each task, accumulating into hours of saved time over the course of a project. We will provide a comprehensive list of the most useful shortcuts, complete with demos and instructions on how to incorporate them into your workflow. As we guide you through these techniques, we'll also share real-life examples and case studies from professionals who have mastered the art of workflow optimization. Their insights and experiences will provide valuable lessons and practical advice, further enhancing your understanding and skills. Above all, this section is designed to empower you. It's about giving you the tools and knowledge to work smarter, not harder. To reduce repetition and eliminate inefficiencies. To create a workflow that's streamlined, efficient and productive. These techniques will help you save time and streamline your editing process. As we reach the conclusion of this video, we want to underscore the essential information we've shared in this instructional video guide. We've gone through a comprehensive journey together, exploring the exciting and challenging world of wedding photo editing. We've unraveled techniques and tips, and we've given you insider knowledge that could only come from seasoned professionals. Let's revisit the highlights of what discussed. We started by going in-depth into the process of culling and selecting the perfect photos from a vast collection a critical first step in editing. We underscored the importance of storytelling in wedding photography 
and how the selection process should always aim to capture and tell love story. From there, we went into the different editing styles that you can adopt. We talked about the classic, the vintage, the artistic, and even the journalistic styles. We delved deep into how each one can affect your final product, and even pointed out how different couples and venues might prefer one style over another. We guided you on how to make an informed decision on your editing style, encouraging you to experiment, explore, and ultimately develop your unique style. We also discussed the technical aspects of photo editing, such as the use of different software and tools. We featured a detailed walkthrough of the editing process, from basic color correction to advanced techniques like gradient filters and layer masks. We showed you how to navigate these tools effectively and efficiently, enabling you to transform any photo into a masterpiece. Furthermore, we touched on the business aspect of wedding photography. We shared tips on how to attract clients, build your portfolio, price your services, and even deal with difficult situations. We covered the importance networking within the industry and the value of continuous learning. Now, as we draw to a close, we encourage you once again to practice, practice, practice. The more you play with your editing tools and styles, the better you become, and the more confident you will be in your skills. We also invite you to take action, become part of our community, subscribe to our channel, and let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Ask us any questions you may have, and share your experiences with us. In conclusion, we extend our gratitude for your presence in this learning journey. We acknowledge the time and effort you've invested, and we hope that this video has provided substantial value to your photo editing endeavors. Our commitment to delivering valuable content does not end here. We have more exciting content lined up for you in the coming weeks. So, until our next informative discussion, happy editing.